I'd like to talk to you today about e-bike helmets. In particular, the Gin Jam e-bike helmet with magnetic goggles that I'm wearing. Here it is without the magnetic goggles. And here are the goggles installed. Very nice. Good for those sunny days and keeping the wind out of your eyes. Any other things that are coming at 20 miles an hour at you. You might be asking, Tom, why do I need an e-bike helmet? There's no national mandate. There's no local laws that say I have to wear one. Well, that might be true. But the Cleveland Clinic says that wearing an e-bike helmet reduces your chance of head injuries by 60%. It also reduces the chance of a traumatic brain injury by 53%. And wearing e-bike helmets reduces the number of cyclists killed or seriously injured every year by 34%. An interesting factoid is that the human facial bones and skull can withstand an impact up to 10 miles per hour. But with new e-bikes, class one, two, and three, achieving speeds up to 28 miles per hour, Riding without a helmet is just risky. I'd rather have that insurance. I only have one brain, I'm gonna protect the noggin. What came in the box was a nice noise black colored helmet, a USB-C charger, a washable and removable brim, keeps light out of your eyes, a standard motocross style visor like I'm wearing right now, and the magnetic goggles that I'm wearing. All in all, very nice helmet, very comfortable. It has good airflow, 12 vents. Keeps your head nice and cool. Another reason you wear an e-bike helmet is for visibility. This helmet happens to have a built-in LED on the back with three modes. So let's talk about what e-bike helmets are made of. E-bike helmets use a foam called EPS, expanded polystyrene. You might have known it under its trademark name by DuPont of Styrofoam. That's right, same foam that you use in coolers, but of a higher grade. And that foam acts like an airbag. Once it's expanded, and made it to that helmet and it has an impact it collapses and acts like an airbag for your brain so normal big box cheap bicycle helmets rated up to 15 miles an hour are made of EPS and they usually have a lightweight covering on them that's something like a polyvinyl chloride almost like a sticker um, some of them will have ABS if it's a little bit higher quality um, a good quality helmet like the Jin Jam has a polycarbonate shell with the EPS foam. So it's the best of both worlds. So bicycle helmets are rated to different standards. All bicycle helmets since 1999 have had to receive the Consumer Safety Product Commission approval to be sold in the United States. Europeans with the Comité European came up with the EN 1078 standard for e-bike helmets. These allowed lightweight e-bike helmets that covered the top of the head. A lot of them were used for racing bikes. So when you see those, race, those racers with those lightweight helmets, that's what those were. Well, with the advent of e-bikes, in 2015, the Dutch got together and issued the Dutch Trade Agreement 8776. And it set standards for helmets that were going to be used on Class 1, Class 2, and Class 3 e-bikes up to 28 miles per hour. Well, the Gin Jam e-bike helmet it's triple certified. It meets the CSPC standard. It meets the CE standard. 
and it meets the NTA 8776 standard. With the class one, two, and three e-bikes that I ride, I want the insurance of a helmet rated to 28 miles per hour. The Junjam helmet comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. I'm wearing a medium, I'm about a seven and three quarters, it fits beautifully. It has a nice adjustment screw on the back so you can tighten it down, get a perfect fit. Nice and stable, no wobble. The Junjam e-bike helmet comes in four colors. Acapella white, jazz blue, ultimate gray, and noise black like I'm wearing. The Junjam helmet weighs in at 360 grams or 12.8 ounces. So it's nice and light, feels good on the head. People from Junjam were generous enough to leave me and my viewers a 30% discount link. I'm going to put that link down below. So go there, check out the June Jam helmet. I think you're going to like it. It's a good helmet. It's going to be my go-to from now on. You'll see it in future videos. Thanks for coming. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep on riding.